So food intolerances versus food allergies. It's important for people to understand that um, these are radically different things. And the reason I say that is because I feel like people are conflating it unintentionally and putting them together. Food allergies is when your immune system actually gets activated in response to a food in your diet. You know, the word allergy, I mean, think about that, like seasonal allergies, that's your immune system reacting to pollen, or um, could be that you're allergic to your cat, pet dander, okay. So in the case of food allergies, it's that there's something in your diet that is activating the immune system. And the thing about this is as a medical doctor, I'm actually quite scared of food allergies because they can be violent. They can be very dangerous. You know, they can cause people to feel like their throat is closing off and they can't breathe or they break out in hives, things of this variety. And um, when that occurs, it could be the most trivial, small amount of exposure. You're not even necessarily trying to eat the food. You may accidentally come into contact with the food and yet it will trigger this big dangerous reaction. This is why, Adrian, we can't have peanuts on the airplane anymore, right? Like the person who has the peanut allergy, they're not, they're not actually opening the bag and eating the peanuts. It's just like the most trivial exposure to the peanuts could activate that response. Now, a food intolerance is a very different thing. And that's good because food intolerances are more common than food allergies. Food allergies are not that common. Food intolerances affect about one in five people in the United States. And essentially, this is when you consume a food and then you manifest symptoms, typically digestive symptoms. So like classically gas, bloating, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, constipation, things of this variety. You eat the food, you manifest these symptoms that you don't want. And because there's this connection between those two things, that's what a food intolerance is. Food is not supposed to be causing negative symptoms. Food is supposed to be this source of joy, something we find pleasure in. So what's going on there? Well, it's interesting. It's, it's not the immune system. What's happening there is that your body is struggling to process and unpack the food. And most commonly, we are going to find this take place in a person who has damage to their gut microbiome. And the reason why is because the gut microbiome is actually essential to digestion. Like if you took just our digestive enzymes that we have as humans and you, and you removed the gut microbiome, we all would have food intolerances. We would have massive food intolerances. 